Memories. For the Troyan family, they are surrounded by them. They see their brother in the photos. They remember working on the old machinery with their uncle. A lot of family pictures here, a lot of uh, family farming background. Anytime they think about Trig V. A. Truyan, they can now step inside his museum and see his legacy. Trig would be real proud of this. He always had a love for horses and he liked the old vintage, vintage equipment. He was kind of a member of a dying breed of real farmers. For all of Trig V's life, there was only one way to farm with horse-drawn machinery. Spend uh, a lot of time and love and care making machines work again. They, they always took some TLC to get back to operational. And then he would put them to use. He donated $100,000 to the Brookings County Historical Society to make this happen so people wouldn't forget the horse-drawn era of South Dakota from 1870 to 1940. You know, horses uh, were really a part of life just as autom automobiles are today. And um, they were part of the family of many of the farm families. And they've just sort of been forgotten. Many people came out to see the displays and step back in time. It brings back memories for a lot of people, say, my age or older, um, because they said, well, my parents had this or my parents you know, did that. But so it's just, it retains valuable history of the past for us. Even though Trig V couldn't be there to enjoy it, his family knows he would have loved it. And they are excited that they get to share his memories with the community. In Volga, Miranda Page, KDLT News.